so I've only had one um, experience with psilocybin yep. and it wasn't like I didn't get the visuals and you know all of those really beautiful things that people talk about I do think it was healing for me um, it just wasn't like obviously profound it was like one of those things that kind of had like a little drip effect where it compounded like throughout time why do you think it was healing for you so I like I'm a very kinesthetic person mm-hmm. like I just connect with movement a lot um, during the beginning phase, like when, so we did like an hour plus of ceremony, which I want to get mm-hmm. into as well. Cause I think that's so important. Um, but we did like maybe closer to two hours of ceremony. We did the tea and then my first, like at first kind of looked like I was in the stars. Like that was like as visual as it, as it got, like I was just mm-hmm. kind of in space. Like there was no body or self. It was just like observing space, which was really beautiful Very and cool. amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and my whole purpose of going in was to like experience more joy. Like that was what I wanted. I just, that was your intention. yeah, okay. like it wasn't like a ton of trauma that I was working through. I had done a lot with other platforms to do that. And I felt like I did a pretty substantial job. It was just to have my, the floor of my joy raised up a little bit totally understand that right and i was just like i i wasn't depressed or anything like that it just i felt like i could be happier so that was my intention going in and then i remember like that experience of just seeing space was just so beautiful and normally i'm terrified of space like i i don't want to be up like eric wants to buy his ticket yesterday to go up there and i'm the opposite i want my feet on the ground so, but there was no fear it was just like a very beautiful um observation and then my body just like kind of started trembling. And I remember like seeing flashes of some animals come in, but I can't remember what, Mm because it's all a kind of a haze. But my body just started really, really, really trembling. And I just like let it go. I wasn't trying to fight it. And I guess to any woman that's given birth, it's very similar to like epidural shakes. Mm -hmm. And that's also a trauma response. So I know that something was being released and I just don't necessarily know exactly what that was or what, maybe it was like several different things but I just let my like trusted the process and trusted my body and let it do that and then at the end of it it also wore off like super fast Roger was like there's no way you're done it was only a few hours like maybe two or three hours and I'm like I'm done and he's like there's no way like you did for and I'm very sensitive to everything like caffeine alcohol like I just need a little bit yeah and I was like it's already off And he's like there's no way like I'm telling you I'm good. It's all gone. And I would get up and like kind of start stretching and everything was like popping and cracking. And he was like, oh, that's really good. Those are also releases. So it wasn't like I had this experience where people were working on me or spirit guides or anything like that. It was just more physical. But I guess that's more in aligned with like my current state, like my baseline, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would attribute like those cracks, pops and shaking to like a a trauma like being released and healed so that's why i would say that and then i did end up feeling like my baseline was elevated after that like i just was generally a more easy to please happier person for how long honestly up until i recently gave birth and then uh, now my hormones are all crazy so that's just getting reestablished. but now i mean we're about five months post and i feel like i'm starting to become myself again because like that first few months on top of like being sleep deprived it's like you are your worst version of yourself. And then you're trying to show up for this little person that can be very hard. Um, and there's like nothing you can really do except for like try to rest and, and go with grace. You know what I mean? Right. But it's very hard. It's a lot. I mean, that's, that's you went through a lot of work. It's mm-hmm. physically a lot of work, mentally a lot of work, emotionally a lot of work. And mm-hmm. uh, and then and then you go right into lack of sleep and right. this new presence that you you are fully responsible for. So mm-hmm. it's that's hard. It's understandable. Mm-hmm. It's a... Uh, it sounds like a beautiful introduction to psilocybin that you had or magic mushrooms that mm-hmm. uh, the, you said three grams, two and a half, three grams. Three, yeah. yeah. So that's, it's, um, yeah, that's, that's a great, that's a good place to start. Why not? Why mm-hmm. not start there? But everybody's different. And the fact that um, it wore off is what it did. And that's, mm-hmm. that's totally fine too. It doesn't mean your next experience would be the same. that short. No, not at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but it could, but, mm-hmm. but it might not, but it's a, uh, but it sounds like your body needed to release some things and it did Mm -hmm. and it didn't need to show you visually anything Mm -hmm. in that particular moment. Mm -hmm. And three grams is also, it's in that zone where you might not have a lot of visuals. It sometimes takes a, a bigger dose. Mm-hmm. You like the ceremony component as well. You're talking about the, uh, the spirituality person. Yes. So I guess to tie in my question from earlier. So I personally, 
I don't know how I feel about recreational use for psychedelics. Um, again, like I'm so new to the space. I don't know that my opinion really carries, carries a lot of weight. I just see a lot of people doing it incorrectly. So I guess that's where my idea is formulated is I just think there's not enough respect given to the process. So when it comes to ceremony, again, like I've only done one. I've seen a lot, you know, through docuseries and things like that. But I think... Um, when you're opening up yourself energetically like that, it's crucial to have someone there that holds like a positive light because I think when you're releasing anything, so releasing that trauma, for example, something else has to fill that that bucket. And if you don't have the right person there or the right environment, then you, you're just filling it with more bad or more density or more shadow. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's why like a shaman is really important or if you're doing something more clinical and you have someone there, because even at MAPS, they make it still very um, ceremonial. They, like they hand Absolutely. it to you with mm -hmm. like a little platter, like, th like these little things do matter because it makes you take it a little bit more seriously um, and not like you're just gonna go p eat these things and then go to a club, like you're here to do work on yourself or like go on like a, a mission, if you will. Um, so I think there's a, a lot of value in that. And then also, like I said, I went in with a ton of anxiety and I think that's probably a lot of people that are new to the space. So having someone kind of bring you in with um, like a prayer or a song mm -hmm. or a chant and kind of explaining what you're about to experience, I think can also lead to a better experience and one that's not so overwhelming because I've seen people have really bad trips too. And I don't know if that's like, there are no bad trips, you get what you're supposed mm -hmm. to get, or they were doing it recreationally and then went to a house party. And of course that's going to be overwhelming because now again, like you are an open vessel and now you are just absorbing recklessly everyone's energy. energy yeah and so you're you have I mean, multiple things you just covered here mm -hmm. so certainly energetically mm -hmm. um when you take a psychedelic you are truly feeling and absorbing in a way that you don't normally do in your in your day-to-day -day conscious life so when you surround so when they when they talk about a probability of a good experience it's set setting and source so your mindset going in the setting that are you around people that love you are you in a place that you're undisturbed are you in a place that's free from distraction and when those things aren't um, happening, yeah, it can, it can be very uh, uh, jarring because mm -hmm. you're just, you're experiencing it. Everything can be louder. The colors can be different. It can be mixing smells and colors and s sounds and all of it starts running together. And it can mm -hmm. be, uh, it can be scary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You also talked about how um, when you give yourself away to the medicine, you're very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Um and because you, it's you. You've planned. This is a planned psychotic break. You are allowed for this time to be <laughs> open to whatever happens. Mm -hmm. And if you're not surrounded by um, by people that love you and people who are holding a safe container, it can be. It can be. It can be physically dangerous for mm -hmm. the for a person. So again, just as as you think about, as your audience thinks about, where do I want to? If I want to take a psychedelic medicine, mm -hmm. yeah, picking that. That facilitator and that group that's going to be with you, super, super important. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there and there have been certainly, um, like any uh, type of experience, there have been certainly instances where things have not gone the way that you or I might have scripted it for somebody. Mm -hmm. But when you do find that right facilitator, have the right space, um, have the intention, know what you're getting into. So you're okay. You're this should be about six hours, and it's going to take this and. Um, yeah, you really reduce the the, the challenging experience um, portion. Now that doesn't mean it might not be challenging emotionally, or that you might be shown something that's mm -hmm. that you don't want to see, or that you are not looking forward to seeing. Mm -hmm. But um, but when you can, rem the other thing I guess the medicine does is it removes shame, blame, and guilt during that period that you're on the medicine. Mm -hmm. So it really does allow you to look at some things that are uh, again hard to do when you're not with the help of that medicine. Mm 